Hey guys, Tanner69046 here. I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival, Season 6, Episode 16. And in today's episode, we're going to be building a storage room. Jesus Christ, could you keep it down? Ugh. Alright, so I'm um, uh, in the last episode, as you may recall. We built a railroad. 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 And it was, um, uh, it's pretty fantastic if you ask me. It's pretty fantastic railroad. It's one of the top notch railroads out there, you know. Highly, highly, highly rated by the government in this world, which is, you know, helps the approval process because that government is, you know, me. So, um, uh, yeah. Um, so basically, the purpose of building that railroad, railroad, was so that we could essentially. We wanted to be able to, you know, move all the stuff from this base to the new base. And, um, uh, well, it's kind of hard to do that whenever the new base doesn't have anywhere to put the old base stuff. So that's what today's episode's gonna fix. We're gonna put the old base stuff and turn it into new base stuff because we're gonna... Cause, hold on, let me think. So new base over there. This is old base stuff. When it gets transferred to the new base stuff because of the new base storage room, this old base storage room will not be the storage. We'll tear this down. This will be a farming base. The new base will be the new base. Gotcha. There we go. That's what I was saying. Clear as mud. All right. Uh, we need oak. Hello, oak. You there, bud? That's okay. Take your time. Oh, hold on, we can save Oak by doing that. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Alright, there we go. <coughs> I'm also slightly dying. We had a house pride rally today, and my voice is about to jump off a bridge. So there's that. Uh, yeah. Let's go to the other base, and we can chop down some more logs from there. And then, after that, we can work on the storage room. Um, so yeah, off camera... This isn't going to work. Uh, off camera, uh, I did some work. I did a live stream. You missed it. Congratulations. But I did a live stream doing work in this world. Is that hail? Sure is hail. Um, did some work in this world. And we're going to cover that when we get over here. But essentially, just did a little bit of off camera work so this episode could go a little bit smoother. And hopefully it will, of course. I mean, it's me doing it, so, you know, you know, it's going to be smooth. It's going to be really, really smooth. So, yeah, let's get over here. I forgot how long this railroad is. See? See, it is very long if, you, if it's not done in a time lapse, you see? See, I ain't crazy. I spent hours on this. Hours. And we're here. So, as you notice before, I had this ladder going up. Guess what? I don't have now a ladder going up. Well, it still kind of goes up and doesn't connect to the bottom. Anyways, this is the new way in. This is the old base over here. Of course, I have to have a tunnel connecting, connecting that stuff. So yeah, here's the new base, and you may be asking, well, Tanner, there's a wall there. How do you get out? Boom! That's how you get out. And Tanner, there's a wall there. How do you get out? Oh, bo boom! That's how you. Get out. <laughs> Hold on. Boom, that's how you get in. And out. Boom. Gotcha. Alright. Now that's done smoothly. Well, ooh, we got plenty of iron, it turns out. Okay. Um, storage room. That's the goal of today. Oh yeah, trees. We're gonna cut down these trees. Trees, trees, trees. Uh, we gotta decide what we're gonna do with this base. I mean, we can always move stuff around. But we got an entire mountain to work with and pretty flowers probably asking yourself, why are some of the flowers missing in trees? Why, why, what, what are they doing? How come they're gone? Well, this clip right here will explain why they're gone. So yeah, enjoy this clip. Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I was doing a Twitch stream, and, and it's the EF0 formed. And it's, ooh, interesting. It's heading right to me. <laughs> so that's not good. Uh... This got blew up by a creeper too. I was doing some off-camera work, but yeah, it's that's an F1 barreling right to me. Man, this isn't gonna be a pretty flower for us after a while. And it's a, it's a pretty tornado though, ain't it? 
Look at the light at the bottom. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's definitely... Eh, is it going to miss? No. Let's go ahead and chase it. Let's get a better vantage point. Alright. I'm going to get some lag because I am streaming still. Uh, let's get to the top of this hill. Top of this hill should give us a better look. Hey there, witch. Run away from the witch. Alright. That's the tornado. Run back. <laughs> too close, too close, too close. Let's try this hill. Let's see. Ooh. Still. Still. Still doing you, ain't you? Excuse me, sir. I'm kind of busy at the particular moment. Sir, I am kind of busy. Definitely kind of busy. Oh, boy. That's coming here. Yep, that's heading towards us. Oh, baby. Okay, time to move. Oh, look, that pig just got sucked up. <laughs> Keep moving. <laughs> move along, little... little. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. That's worse. Okay, let's try this way, shall we? Hey, LED, thanks for the follow. Uh, okay. Oh, there it is. It's pretty chill right there. Pretty good vantage point. Hey, that's a pretty cool thing right there, too. Hey, there. Hey! Hey! Oh, the base. You blew up! Oh, it was lightning. Okay. Ooh, more lightning. Okay, I think the tornado has passed. I think we're, you know, safe. So back to the episode. Alrighty, guys. So if you didn't figure it out from the clip, there's a tornado that hit the base. New base, not the old base. The new base got hit by a tornado, and guess what? It sucked up some trees and some flowers. An EF1, shocker. So yeah, that happened, unfortunately. So now we got an ugly old base again. Maybe we need to move to new base. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so that should be enough wood, right? Right? Yeah, that's enough wood. How, how big of a base does a man need? Is the real question here. Like, where, where are we going with this whole... Where, where do we make this storage room? Let's see. Let's do some scouting. So, if we go here... We go... I don't know. What, a few blocks this way? Probably, what, 10, 20, 30? 30 blocks this way. Get into this thing. So really, you gotta go. If you're gonna do it... Ooh! Lightning. Alright, so if you're gonna do it, what are we gonna right there? We gotta go left. And then in. So, yeah. Left even more than this, I think. like this way and then we're just gonna dig this a little bit and we'll see what happens just in case I don't time-lapse this will tell some story time so I'm um, uh, let's just do an update on the channel while we're at it. it's October 1st the date this is being recorded it'll probably be uploaded what October 7th 8th 9th something like that because um, right now this is the night before I'm leaving to go to vacation yeah I'm on vacation again whoop de doo um, this is the only video I'm going to have recorded. I tried to record Amnesia. I tried to record Rocket League. I had some failures there. And then I got really demotivated. So here I am. And, um, uh, yeah. This is going to be the only thing. I'm only going on vacation for a week, though. And I have the weekend whenever I get it back. So I should be able to record some new content at that point. Uh, let's go up. See what we find. Hopefully we can find some interesting views here because if so we can turn that into our base hmm. I mean this this has to be done anyways the scouting see I'm going to Florida for a week which is really interesting by the way because we're on the west side of Florida but on the east side next week they're gonna be looking out for some issues with 
Hurricane Matthew, which is currently south of Jamaica and uh, definitely threatening Jamaica right now for sure. Uh, I'm really concerned. Are you serious? Alright. We passed it up and we gotta go way up. <laughs> like, big time up. Alright, so we passed it up. Here, this is, this is the best thing for us to do here. <laughs> so just turn it, go the other way. So yeah, right now, Hurricane Matthew is a Category 5 hurricane, if you haven't been up to date with the news and stuff. And it's currently the lowest latitude. Don't, don't hold this to me, but I think it's the lowest latitude Category 5 that we've had in the Atlantic. Definitely the Caribbean. Um... It's definitely a beast too. It's um, uh, but at the same time, it's one of the uglier Category Five hurricanes I've seen. And um, uh, you know, for one, this is definitely a dangerous hurricane. But um, uh, it's worth noting that it's not the prettiest. It's not the prettiest of Category Fives I've seen out there. I've seen there's some good textbook. It's like. It's like you've got an EF5 wedge embedded in a QLCS. It's just not. It just doesn't leave the taste in your mouth the same thing that, that a that a textbook supercell would. And this is definitely not a textbook supercell or a textbook hurricane. This is this is ugly, folks. This is this is really ugly. <laughs> it's a uh, it's not the prettiest of hurricanes. I don't want to I don't want to insult it cosmetically, but you look, it's got it's fat. It's it's not tall. It's, it's short and fat. It's um, uh, it's got a lot of convection on the back side, and nobody knows what that's about. It's really weird. Uh, it's worth the note that it went from tropical storm to category five hurricane in 36 hours, which is, which is slight rapid. No, it's, that's extreme rapid intensification. So yeah, that that happened. And then it's worth noting that Jamaica. Uh, yeah, you're gonna get destroyed, Jamaica, like, 100% dead. It's not gonna be pretty for you. No, definitely not. I, no, it's not gonna be good. Sorry, sorry to let you know that. But, yeah, Jamaica, no, sorry. It's not gonna be good for you. Nope. Alright. Let's see, this is a good spot to make a window. Let's see. Yeah, right, right to the end of this wall. Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I wanna take you to Baham or something. Da -na -na. Come on, pretty mama. Anyways, so yeah, Jamaica, you're gonna get nailed. If you know anyone living in Jamaica or you yourself, mate, live in Jamaica, yeah, watch out, dude, because it ain't gonna be good. It's not gonna be a pretty, pretty sight to see if you live in Jamaica. <coughs> It's um, uh, forecasted to be a Category 4 right now, but the models have done absolutely horrendous with the storm and forecasting what it's going to do. So, I mean, it could be a Category 4 or it could be a Category 2. It's uh, The National Hurricane Center did note that it was probably going to go under eyewall replacement, and usually when they do eyewall replacement, they, they definitely get weaker. They, not significantly weaker, well... Yeah, it would be significantly weaker, but whenever you're at Category 5, significantly weaker is still, you're going to be at major hurricane status at either a Category 3 or a Category 4. It's like Hurricane Katrina. She went under um, eyewall replacement right before landfall. Thank God that happened. There's, I mean, yeah, it was, what happened to New Orleans was absolutely horrifying, but if Hurricane Katrina had gone hadn't gone under eyewall replacement it'd been just as it'd been worse in Louisiana with what happened on that day so yeah um maybe it could be eyewall replacement whenever it hits Jamaica there's it's gonna truck into quite a bit of shear whenever it goes there so it definitely could be an issue with shear that um yeah it could 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 affect it right now. It's in a decent amount of shear right now. I mean, there's like 30 knots between it and Jamaica, which definitely is not, you wouldn't see a hurricane strengthening in that. 
but really it's in 20 knots a shear right now and you wouldn't see a hurricane strengthening in that either but the shear hasn't really affected it so you know there's that and then another thing that's odd with this hurricane is it's well for one this isn't really it isn't odd for the location but it's odd that it's a category 5 with this and the pressure is at 941 millibars or something like that and usually you wouldn't that's like a category 3 category category 4 storm you wouldn't that's some um, uh, you don't get wind speeds with that kind of pressure and you does usually you got to get drop it down to like lower 900s but now this is mid 900s and you're getting a category 5 storm like that um, it's got a really like pinpoint eye too it's the eye itself is pretty but everything else oh my gosh it's it's not the prettiest hurricane out there let's just say that <laughs> and then it's gonna hit Jamaica or uh, supposedly the models having to do a sharp right turn and so do the um, National Hurricane Center it's heading directly west right now when when that turn occurs and how sharp it is and blah 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 is really gonna matter how bad Jamaica's hit Haiti Cuba blah 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 after it goes through all that assuming it does turn it's gonna truck towards the eastern Atlantic very eastern like almost Florida eastern Florida is currently in the cone of uncertainty of course so is eastern Bahamas <laughs> it's in western Atlantic is what I meant by the way my bad it's like 4 a.m. so you know it's whatever anyways um, Florida yeah you might want to watch out it's some uh, this ain't something to screw around with and the Bahamas are still pretty warm waters um, I mean, yeah, Cuba, it's got some mountains on it. It's going to shred this thing to pieces if it goes over eastern Cuba. Um, it gets through Cuba, though, and there's still a storm there. It's going to re-intensify. And this thing's already shown that, yeah, it likes to intensify. Intensifying, no issue with that. It does that pretty easily. <laughs> so, um, if I were if I were you, Florida, east Florida, I'd be keeping an eye on this. Heck, even if you're in the Gulf, I'd keep an eye on it. It's a, well, models have been trending west. I don't see it going into the Gulf, but you never know. Some of these things, hurricanes are the hardest thing for us to predict right now. Um, weather models, you know, they've improved a lot, but still, there's a lot of error in them. And that's been seen over the years. And really, um, in the Atlantic, this is the first of the few major hurricanes to ever to ever have the technology today to predict that. The last Category 5 was 2007. That was a heck of a year, by the way, but yeah. That was uh, that was the last Category 5, and there was like four of them that year. It's insane that we've had such a drought. And now you've got new technology, and how, how's that technology going to do? We don't... You know, it's... It's kind of... We're going to find out, I guess. I mean, we... Quan or whatever it was, I don't even know how to say the name. I mean, the models did horrific with it too, so <laughs> who knows? If they could be wrong. Model I mean technologies are not always right, and we know that. So you know you gotta be careful with this. But yeah, most likely it's not gonna be hitting Florida. Or not. I mean it's bleh. Take that last word back, it ain't it's most likely not gonna be hitting the Gulf. Yeah, but it could hit Florida. You know, this is something to watch out for. Some, uh, it's an interesting hurricane, to say the least. That's why I liked to talk about it. And I'm going to Florida myself. Of course, I'm going in the Gulf, like I said, so I shouldn't have to worry about it. But, you know, just some, something interesting to talk about. It's kind of cool that I'm going to be such nearby to such a system. So is Cookie. He's in Atlanta. It's going right up the East Coast. So, you know, he might get some get some rainfall from it or something I don't know who knows all right let's fill the we're just gonna go with a simple design here of slabs yeah there we go throw that out <coughs> so we're just gonna put this down it's gonna be a longer episode by the way last episode was really short so I included that clip and then I'm also going to put in a lot of building and talking about weather. It's really cool. Um, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, 
What else can we talk about in weather? Uh, there's a day six out. Oh, well, that's... Yeah, it's, the only issue with this is I'm going to be uploading this so late that the what I'm talking about um, could be irrelevant. Like, by the time I'm finished with this, and by the time this is on YouTube, it could have already nailed New England for all I know. I mean, it is heading that way, by the way. Didn't mention that, but yeah, New England could be it too. So yeah, there's that. I kind of want to do stone brick on the walls. Give that feeling. I don't have stone brick. Hmm. Let's put that in there. Put that there. Oh, we close with the floor on us. Dang it. Ta da. Alright, see if we can find some coal real quick. So, yeah, it's probably going to be irrelevant by the time this is uploaded, but there's a day six out, slight risk, in the middle of the Great Plains, and, well, not middle, but it's, you know, uh, what do you call it? Western Oklahoma, Kansas, Central Oklahoma, Kansas, a little bit of Texas in there. And, um, uh, it's basically, you know, SBC mentioned the chance of supercells, which, you know, what is associated with supercells, you can put two and two together, and there's that chance next week. It's not looking too impressive. I think, for one, the SBC might just be supporting it, just because we haven't had anything happen since, like, May. <laughs> so they might be getting a little antsy. I mean, yeah, th there's some stuff there, but there's, there's some lacking ingredients, too, with sheer profiles. I mean, you got the sheer there, but it's not all of it. Alright, let's see. Let's get another furnace set up. Why not? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we can do the top. Dang it. Oh, I don't want to break this. Whatever. Okay. <coughs> so, yeah. I, you know, weather's kind of getting interesting. Has it been getting interesting? I just know that it's the um uh, hurricane matthew thing's really important because it's first category five and yeah it could be a threat to land somewhere somehow what it does is kind of scary too because it could you know wind yeah winds winds really scary with that stuff but at the same time water is just as dangerous with land side landslides surge um you know it's all that all that stuff is life threatening and you gotta watch it. I mean you can't really watch it. You gotta you gotta know when to leave. You gotta be able to pack your things and say, look, we gotta leave. This is not okay. We are not safe here. Let's see. I'm really liking this storage room. Now it's gonna be a pain in the butt to have to carry all this stuff up. But hey, it's whatever. Alright, so might have to finish this off camera. Show you all in the next episode. Oop. I'm running out, of, running out of things to talk about. That's all I want to talk about. So I might just cut out, finish this, and then come back at the end when it's done. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. So yeah, I'll see you all in a bit when this is done. Alrighty, guys. So I did some off camera work, and this is what we're looking like right now. Um, of course, none of this is labeled. Oh, I forgot one. Dang it. Okay. Uh. Like I said, it's not finished yet. Uh, we're working on it. <laughs> you know, it's a work in progress. It's a project. Like, we don't have lighting in here yet. Uh, windows not up. We don't have anything labeled or the chest filled. It's just, it's got me to where I can do more stuff in this world. And this right here was definitely a requirement to get this job done. So it's an important job to get done. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. It's late. I'm going to get some sleep before I have a long day of traveling ahead of me. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all later. Bye.
Station.